Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. So in this lecture, I have brought you a very interesting topic and that is how we can use a chat GPT in AutoCAD. So if you have previously searched this topic in YouTube, you have find that there are a lot of videos that is showing up the use of chat GPT. But what they have done, they have just used chat GPT to find out the steps of using a particular tool or they have you they have provided the operation to chat gpt and chat gpt will going to predict or tell you that what will be the correct tool that you can use in creating that or using uh, in that operation so that was the use of chat gpt which was shown but here we are going to use chat gpt in a very different way we are going to create a autocad lisp file using the chat gpt so if you don't know about the Lisp file, it's a list processing file. So it's a short form of list processing and it's a programming language that you can use to create custom commands. So you can you, you can create a user defined command with the help of this programming language. You can write a program that will going to perform certain operations to uh, to help you in creating that custom command. You can automate repetitive tasks. So if you want to automate a repetitive task, you can just create a list processing program for that. And it is also used to extend the functionality of a software. So it is also used to extend, basically it is obviously it is going to extend the functionality by creating the custom commands and these operations. So let's just see how to create the list file. So I have one, I am going to start my AutoCAD and here you can see that I have created a staircase and if you are from a civil background you can you know that how much calculations required to find out uh, to, to design a staircase so here you have to first know the height of the building and the desired rise so in the staircase there are two things in the single stair the this one the where you rest your foot is a thread and the highest elevation of this footrest is the riser so these are the two important terms or parameter that is calculated in staircase design so here uh, we have to provide you uh, we have to provide uh, we know the height uh, the, the building where we have to reach and then the desired unit or desired height of the rise so it ranges between six to eight inches so here we have taken seven inches and accordingly it has calculated the number of rises or the number of rises that required to reach that particular height as well as the number of threads so if you know the number of rises value you can obviously create the thread it's a thread value number of threads it is a num number of rises minus one which is eight here it's a double stair a double flight staircase it means that it is divided into two parts so it uh, it's the number of rises per part is nine so number of thread becomes eight so this much calculation required to create this step but we are going to use our list program to automatically to automate this process so I'm going to start my chat GPT and I'm going to tell chat GPT to create the list program for me. So I have the query. So I have just written a query in the notepad. So I'm going to copy this, press select, copy it. And I'm going to paste this in this query box. If you don't know, if you have not used chat GPT yet, this is how the interface of chat GPT is. This is the place where you have to write a message or a query and accordingly chat gpt will perform its ai operation and will going to provide you the result so i'm going to paste it over here and this is the query which is write an auto lisp to calculate the number of risers risers you can say that i'm going to make it comma parameters like floor height and maximum riser height is given so we have to calculate the number of risers once we get the number of risers it's very easy to calculate the number of thread which is number of risers minus one so that we can automatically do that but here it will automatically it will going to create a program that will going to calculate the number of risers and parameters like floor height and maximum riser height is given once your qu query is done, you have to press this op button over here, which is send message, or you have to simply press enter button and it will going to do the magic. It will going to help you in creating that program. So here you can see that it has written a program in a certain black window. And it will also going to tell you everything about the program. So if you want to read these things, you can read it like uh, what, how it has created the program, what will going to be prompted when this program is going to run. So all of the things are written over here. Just go through this. And here you have to write, uh, 
note one thing that what will be the name of this program so the name of this program is calculate risers so this is important this is uh, the name with the help of which you search this program so i'm going to copy this code and once this copy co code is copied you don't you have to do this process which is i'm going to start my autocad and i have a fresh page of autocad over here you can see that here i'm going to type free lisp in command box which is a virtual lisp so let me just write it and here you can see that free lisp will going to be available click on this and a free lisp dialog box will going to be available so here you have to click on this file new file and a fresh page of this list programming will going to open just paste the command over here so i have paste the command over here you can see that and once i have paste this command i have to click on this file and then i'm going to click on the save as or save basically and here then you have to save this in a particular folder it will going to be saved as lisp source file so this is what it will uh, this uh, list uh, 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 you can say that over here visual box will going to do for you it will going to save that file in the list format name it as uh, if you want like i want to name it as there so once i named it i can just press the save button and this will going to be saved i have the folder open so you can see that now it has been saved of over here as a list file lisp now what i have to do i have to just open that folder again and then i have to just simply just click on this drag it and drop it on your autocad file so i'm going to drag it and i'm going to drop it over here and once i have done that you can see that another dialog box will going to open here you just have to press the always load button and you can see that this program will going to be load up so here you can see that it has written that auto list program to calculate the number of risers now remember the name of the program you have to type it over here which is cal and you can see that it will automatically going to write, uh, provide cal all the things related to the cal like cal tool calculator and this is what custom made program that we have made which is calculate riser just click on this and then it will going to ask you for the floor height just provide the value which is 10 right now we haven't refined this program it is not asking you for any unit but later on we are going to see that also i have provided the floor height as 10 just may press enter and then it will going to ask you for the maximum riser height we are going to take it seven inches again so i'm going to write seven over here just press enter and here you can see that the error is popped up which is error no function definition ceiling so there is one function that this program contains which is ceiling that is not available so we have to tell chat gpt that you have created a program that is showing up an error so you have to just copy this error over here just copy it and then you have to open the chat gpt again so where is my chat gpt so this is my chat gpt and i have to paste this uh, message over here so this is the power of chat gpt you can just talk to this as a human so i'm going to paste this one and i'm going to just make it enter again and it will again going to tell you that it will going to apologize for that because it this function is not available so it is preparing a new code that does not contain this function or the updated form of this function once it has created the program it is also going to tell you that what are the problems that it has fixed like it has changed the function and now this program is uh, that it, it has created this fun program like this just copy this again and then you have to open that uh, lisp file again just double click over this and then you have to select all this and instead of in place of this program you have to place paste the fresh one and this is the correct program again then just press the control plus s button and that's it you don't have to do anything just press the control plus s and this program will again going to be saved in a same same file again just go for the autocad just drag this program again do you have to do the same operation and drop it on the screen the program will again going to be load up and the load and then you have to write the name of the program again again it will going to be open again it will going to ask you for the parameters provide that parameters and you can see that the number of risers requires is two so here the again one uh, thing we have to see that uh, in uh, we have taken the floor height as 10 and the number of riser or 10 feet 
and a number of risers maximum number riser height is seven inches and it has created the two risers so to reach the 10 feet we are we only we required only two risers it means that something is incorrect in the program and that is what incorrect is is the unit we haven't tell the unit so right now it is taking as a single unit so we have to tell the autocad that here this will be in the feet and this will be in the inches then only it will going to create it will going to give you the correct value so again we have to update the program so i'm going for this again and then i'm going to write a query again that rewrite this program rewrite this program program that with unit like floor height floor height is in feet and riser height is is in inches so rewrite this program with unit floor height is in feet and riser height is in inches so just make it okay again and let me let just let chat gpt create the program again so it will going to take a little bit time and you have to wait for a while okay so here i think we have uh, just we have to provide a comma over here then only it will going to let me just see that what it is creating here it is modified that takes floor height in finch, uh, feet and rises in inches so i think it has just find out what i want to ask chat gpt so it has created the program accordingly let it create the program it, i think it is taking a lot of time to create it because of the processing so once the program is over you can see that it is telling you that in this version the user is prompted to enter the floor height in feet and riser height is in inches in inches the program then converts the floor height into the units and it will going to calculate it so it will going to prompt the user to f uh, provide the values in feet and inches and accordingly it will going to then convert it and create uh, the calculations so once the modified program is with you you just have to do the procedures again just copy this code just paste it in at uh, this file again just select all just paste it and then you have to save it again so i'm going to press the Control plus s and that's it it will going to be saved and just make sure once more and once the it will be going to be saved you have to open the autocad again just drag this and drop it on the screen and then again going to open the calculate riser tool and now you can see that it is asking you in the feed and inches so just provide at the feed value as 10 and inches i'm going to provide this as 7 and you can see that it will going to calculate the number of risers required is 18. So the same parameter that I have given over here, you can see that the height of the building and accordingly it has provided the values. And you can see that this is how you can just calculate the values. You can again open the program. Just provide the values as 20. Right now, the floor height will be 20 feet. Just press enter. The riser will be again 7 inches. You can see that in bracket, it is written that it is asking you in the inches. Just make it enter and you can see that number of risers required is 35. So you can see that how automatically we it has created. So I haven't uh, used my brain anywhere. I have just used the chat GPT. I have just opened the chat GPT tell ChatGPT to create the program. I have refined it by providing a ChatGPT the parameters that I want. And then I have to just import that refined program into the AutoCAD and accordingly it has calculated the values. So this is uh, how you can use a ChatGPT. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment and you can just create more list programs using uh, this ChatGPT and make sure that you subscribe this channel for the updates like this. Thank you and catch up you in the next one.